shows where we're going and it shows one of the three additions to our portfolio in the medium term. Although the engineering and technologies are bold, they're not science fiction. We very much believe that a GT car in a new form can deliver power, beauty and soul as strongly as a Vantage or a Vanquish. We'll, we'll reveal more on the execution and manufacturing strategy of DBX and the other additions in our lineup in the coming months. Now, to help me unveil DBX, I'd now like to invite representatives of our most important stakeholders to join me on stage. Representing our management, our employees, our suppliers, our dealers, and our shareholders, we all share the commitment and the responsibility to not change the brand values of the company, but rather to reshape them and reimagine them for the next decade and for the next century. for the next 100 years and beyond. We will always create the most beautiful and bespoke sports cars in the world. We will also believe that Aston Martin Lagonda can create cars beyond the pure sports cars and progressively achieve the potential that we know exists. Now, let's go to work transforming this great British company into a great, British company. Thank you very much. Defining the next generation of GT driver, not just for the single occupant, but for families too. But very, very important in our in our future. How many model is going to be? Oh, we're, we haven't set out any any volume figures, but you know we, we cap our sports cars at 7,000, and then this adds a new leg to the portfolio, as does the potential super saloon as well. So we we would still remain rare and exclusive. But what does that mean in the context of the future? Usually, when you explain design of a car, you you compare with sprint. Yeah. What about this one? It's yeah, this is a long-distance runner, so this is much more, or an elegant racehorse. So if you think about a racehorse that, that you can you can you can see the beauty in the racehorse, but it has an elegance, it has a grace, it has a robust stance, and it has a robust attitude. And this is really, uh, or a long-distance runner, leaner, sure. obviously made to go greater distances in greater comfort. These are sprinters. Yes, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, because usually it's, it's kind of sorry, what would you like yeah. uh, What about next one, it's going to be in two years, how long it is? Over the next five years, you will see a new product every single year, and I mean totally new. It's going to be crossover? In the next five years, something new every year. Morning. thank you very much. Good day. You're welcome, thank you. We need a GT for the, for the next generation and for the female generation. We need something that targets the Gen Y and the Gen Z in the Asian countries, but we also need something that targets females. In order to do that, we need to take the, 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 the GT sports car 
and we need to heighten it up and make it into a crossover, make it more approachable, make it easier to get in and get out, make it much less intimidating, make it sized for a female size, smaller steering wheel diameter, more throw on the, on the steering, uh, more throw on the seats, just make it uh, more accessible but nevertheless always beautiful.